kind of regeneration, about getting people into public spaces, into streets, is, is fantastic. It's a very seasonal thing, but it could also be happening in the summer or the spring in a, in a different way. It should have a street market in every council, every little borough, that is they're so proud of that the people will come to it such a community. It's absolutely what people want. In other parts of the country, it's very, very successful. Street food is the up-and-coming thing. They're calling it the street food revolution. Uh, and that's exactly what it is. It's bringing good quality food to the streets, to the people. But I think eating on the street, you can see what you're, what you're getting. You know, you can't hide in the kitchen. You can't make a plan somewhere else and call it an amazing meal. I mean, look at what we're doing. Things like this that are really interesting pieces of temporary activity uh, are very appropriate to now because it, it's, it's happening and it's something you can do and it can be here for a few days or weeks. To be able to go to a street market or a street fair or a street or a food fiesta and be able to see food from the four corners of the earth and to be able to walk up and see it cooked in front of you and have a bit of banter with the person cooking, it's lovely, it's an experience. I think local councils should sit down with people like Encan who know the different caterers, people like the traders, the good traders who take such a pride in what they do. Well, I think people just like congregating. I mean, people come to towns and to cities and to village centres because they want to meet other people. That's why we do it. You can't actually do all of this stuff on the internet. People want to come and look at the food, see it, touch it, buy it, share it, drink together. It's very, very communal. It's for the whole family. That's what street food is all about. It happens all over the world, and fortunately, it hasn't happened quite yet in this country, but it's coming. Now look at part four. You will hear a student telephoning a school. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the information twice. Good morning. International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road, and we're quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Now listen again. Good morning. International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road. 
And we're quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. This is the end of part four. Now look at part four. You will hear a student telephoning a school. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the information twice. Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road, and we're quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Now listen again. Good morning, International Language School. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like some information about your school. Certainly. What do you want to know? Well, first, what day does the next course begin? Well, our courses always begin on the first Monday of every month. Let me see. The next course begins on the 3rd of January. That's next week. Yes, that's right. And what time do classes start? Well, they begin at a quarter past nine, so you should be here a little earlier, at about nine o'clock. And I don't have the address. Could you give it to me, please? Yes. The school is at 57 London Road. Just a moment. I've got a map of the town. Could you tell me where London Road is, please? Yes. It's a long road. And we're quite near the station. OK. I'll find it on my map. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a tour guide talking about a town in Scotland. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning, and welcome to Scotland. Good morning. I hope you had a good journey and are not too tired this morning. My name is Jim, and I am here to help you. I want to tell you a few things which you might find useful. <laughs> Firstly, the banks. They're open from 9.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's 9.30 until 4.00. 
They're open every day except Sunday. But on Sunday, you can change money in the hotel. Oh, that's good. Next, the buses. You can take a bus from the hotel to the city centre. It's the number 21. There are buses every 15 minutes, so you won't have to wait long. You'll find the bus stop just outside the hotel. Good. A ticket to the city centre costs 60 pence. Finally, tonight we're having a party for you in the restaurant. Ooh. I hope I'll see you all there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now listen again. Good morning and welcome to Scotland. Good morning. I hope you had a good journey and are not too tired this morning. My name is Jim and I am here to help you. I want to tell you a few things which you might find useful. <laughs> Firstly, the banks. They're open from 9.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's 9.30 until 4. They're open every day except Sunday. But on Sunday, you can change money in the hotel. Oh, that's good. Next, the buses. You can take a bus from the hotel to the city centre. It's the number 21. There are buses every 15 minutes, so you won't have to wait long. You'll find the bus stop just outside the hotel. Oh, a ticket to the city centre costs 60 pence. Finally, tonight we're having a party for you in the restaurant. Ooh. I hope I'll see you all there. Thank you. Thank you very This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. Teacher, stop the tape here and time eight minutes. This is the end of the test. Good job.